Welcome YouTube and today's video is going to consist of how to record your iPhone display iPhone, iPad, iPod Touch it doesn't really matter they all should work just fine uh, first couple things you're going to need of course is an Apple device so iPhone 4 uh, second of all you're going to need Apple's own component AV cables or you can use composite uh, HDMI will not work not for recording purposes it will display but recording purposes will not work and you will also need an HD PVR doesn't have to be exact this one but as long as you can record uh, through cables if you don't want the component cables then you can find uh, maybe a H a Dazzle online that will also work uh, although I have not tested this myself one more thing you will also need a jailbroken device it has to be jailbroken if it's not jailbroken uh, it will not work correctly so let's get started Okay, so first thing you're going to want to do is connect your component cables to your PVR. I'm not really going to show how to do this, it's kind of self-explanatory, it's just like connecting your PlayStation 3 or your Xbox to your TV. Same thing, you just line up the colors and you plug them in, mash them together. Uh, once you do that, you're going to want to come over to your computer and hopefully you know how to install software you install the total media extreme software for the PVR if you have the hopage and then before you run your software make sure you go and download a jailbroken app from Cydia I will show it to you once we get connected it's called display out that's what you want to get. That's what that's what will work. I believe it's either two ninety nine or four ninety nine in Cydia. Uh, there's ways of getting it free. I'll show you that too. Uh, but yeah, let's get connected. Okay, you want to run your recording software, and then you take your component or composite or whichever one you have, and you just simply plug it into your phone. You hear the click, and then after that, you won't hear any more audio. Now, you want to go to your settings. Let's see if I can show you on camera. I'll be able to show you a little bit better in a second. Go to your settings, and you want to scroll down. See, this is your phone settings, and then you get your jailbroken settings, and then you get your regular installed paid app settings. You want to go to where it says display out, and you want to enable it. And if all works well, it should pop up. And there it is, as you can see on screen. Uh, once it pops up on screen, on your Hopodge software, you can hit capture. It will capture the video, the sound, uh, the orientation. Like if, let's see, I have SB Rotator. If I go to my home screen and I flip my device, like landscape, as you can see, it also follows. Flip it back, it flips back. Okay, I'm going to show you where to get this software now. Okay. Of course, I have to turn on Wi Fi. Okay. okay, go search and you type in D I S P L A Y. Not recorder. Recorder is a different way. I'll probably make a video on how to do that go to display out see. I'm going to show you the official app and I'll show you the here it is right here it's by Ryan Petrich okay it's 299 
As you can see, it mirrors the screen on connected monitor, projector, or television. The text orientation and connectivity supports game and video content, customizable zoom and aspect ratio. And again, it's $299, but if you have the insanely eye repo, repo excuse me, uh, you can get it for free, basically. It's kind of stealing, but if you can't afford it or you just want to test it out before you actually buy it, this is how you would do it. Uh, once you install that, I'm not going to reinstall it. Like I said before, you go to your settings pane, scroll all the way down to display out, and make sure you hit enable. Uh, now there's a few options in here. There's orientation, you can have it follow whichever way your device is going. Uh, you can have it follow just the springboard. You can just always be portrait no matter what, landscape left, right, upside down. Uh, my personal preference, I allow it to follow the interface because uh, when you switch to a game, you don't want to have to go back to settings and manually switch back. Uh, for the component and composite cables, it seems like max resolution doesn't really affect it at all. So I just leave it at 1024 by 768. It doesn't really do much. Uh, scale, if I bring this all the way down, you see the window shrinks, bring it all the way up. It's pretty big. I usually leave it around the middle so the view isn't obscured or anything. Try to get it back to where it was. Uh, you can change the aspect ratio. You can preserve it and leave it how the iPhone is actually seen. Uh, 16 by 10, which kind of squishes it, but it looks better for landscape. A little bit. Uh, 16 by 9. It's even better. That's what most flat screens see. But you're gonna have to adjust the uh, aspect ratio for that. But I leave it on preserve. Uh, horizontal offset and vertical offset. It will move the screen left and right and up and down. Uh, you can have it show taps. So if you want your audience or whoever to see where your fingers actually are on screen, you can turn that on and off. So if it's off, as you can see, the screen is getting dragged, but nothing's actually, uh, you can't see where my fingers are. You turn it on, and then you can change the size of the taps. There's small, as you can see there, there's medium, and then there's large. I like to leave it on small so you can at least see uh, what I'm doing on screen. Uh, most apps tend to work. There's a couple games like Rock Band. I can't seem to get it to work with that. Uh, Infinity Blade works a little bit. It's a little laggy. Um, but all the stock apps that I seem to uh, try out they seem to work. They work just fine. You can go in and go to landscapes and they work. Uh, there is one problem with layers. As you can see where it says uh, iPhone wallpapers in the left, it gets kind of cut off by the photo. It has a little bit of problem with the layers of the screen. But other than that, it works just fine. I mean, I can even launch the camera app and show you my setup. Actually, that's front-facing screen. I can switch screens. There's the camera. Get my lights. Uh, opening folders, of course, works.
rotates. And you should be able to hear that. I have everything on mute, but there should be sound. It, the game works just like it should, with, even when you're not connected, and everything seems to run pretty smoothly if it's not a in, super intensive game. Which Sonic isn't, I mean, it's such a small game. Another thing that also works, you can watch videos, you can play music. Let's see. I'll go to one of my songs. If you follow me on YouTube or Twitter, you'll see that I post me listening to these a few times or something. I'll go to my camera roll, play a video from there. But if you have any more questions on uh, anything about display out or how to record or how to do any of this, uh, you can leave it in the comment section below. Uh, you can always email me. I'll have that in the, in the description. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter, also in the description. Uh, but I'd like to thank you for watching. And don't forget, any questions, down below. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button either. Thank you, and I'll catch you in the next video.